What's up, everybody? We're going to check out one of the best Virginia tobacco blends that you've ever had in your life. Well, that's what they say. I'm here to find out. Let's hit it. Hey, what's up, YTPC? Big John coming back at you, baby, for another tobacco review. Today, we're going to be digging into some of the Wessex campaign, Dark Flake. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ten gifted to me by Peg Leg Piper. Gave it to me. I think it's been a, whew, it's been about two years ago now. Threw it in the cellar. Wanted to check it out. Was reading some of the reviews on TobaccoReviews.com. And because uh, I didn't know much about it, to be honest with you. And from what I'm seeing, this quite possibly is one of the end-all be-alls as far as Virginia, straight Virginia blends. So let's dig into it. Let's get this tin popped open. Let's try it. See what we think. Go from there, baby. All right, all right, all right. So we got the Wessex Campaign Dark Flake. Uh, this is the older square tin, I believe. I got it in 3.7 of 18. I believe the tin itself is from 03, unless I'm dating it wrong. Um, made in Germany, U.S. distributor, Arango Cigar Company, uh, made by Cole House and Cop or whatnot. It's a straight Virginia blend. Um, it's one that I've been wanting to pop open for a little while, and uh, so let's get it. No time like the present. Let's see what she's working with. Whoa, hello, hello. Oh my, oh my. Look at these beautiful, beautiful sliced up flakes. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Let's give a good smell here. Mm. Just a beautiful, sweet Virginia smell. Real earthy. Molasses. Right fruit. We'll uh gonna be smoking in my moonshine patriot leather sandblast. Beautiful pipe gifted to me by none other than Smokey Mo himself. A little stack poker. We're gonna get a couple of these flakes out and uh we're gonna let those bad boys dry. Um, I've got a nice, decently dry flake, not tacky anymore. It's been dried out a good ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over just a little bit of a piece right there. All right. So, sorry for the Shrek fingers. So I got that folded over. Now I'm gonna fold it back the other way now it makes kind of a little bit of a mess but it all come together now I put my finger over it and I'm gonna roll it back that way now at this point you've got kind of like a a broken ribbon little sachet now at this point I just kind of roll it on over and I put it in my hand just like that all right so if I open up my hand I've got a little kind of broken deal here Shake all that little extra off and kind of keep it and kind of form it into a little deal. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your pipe and you're going to just twist that down in there. But you don't want to go all the way to the bottom. Okay, once you start feeling any resistance, stop. All right, so that's where you're at there. Rip off this little top. I kind of tuck her in just a little bit. Now, check your draw. Nice and open draw. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just a little bit, not pushing it all the way down the bottom. I'm going to kind of give me some space from the rim. 
caught a little flake chip. Now, reason for that is I don't want to burn up all the rims on my pipes. So I just want to get it just a little bit, a little bit away. Now, you see, that's one flake done filled that up now I got all this little extra right here what do you do with the extra okay just break that up as loose and fine as you can what you do with this is you just gonna make a little kindling that's gonna get your fire started you put your little kindling on top that gets your little fire started right there. Check your draw. Put your finger over it. Beautiful draw. And that's how I pack flakes into my pipe. That little bit of space on the bottom down here. Once the fire hits that tobacco, it's going to expand out. But it's going to allow... A nice smoke to go down that pipe and it's not going to be an airy loose wet draw it's not gonna go out on you a hundred times them stacked up flakes aren't going to sit flat on top of the pipe um, a lot of people when they fold their flakes sometimes though at the top they'll have a flake that's kind of sitting there on top of the pipe just flat That'll create this little charcoal deal that makes it kind of hard to get through. That's when you got to take, if you do that, or you find yourself in that situation, if I stop bumping the camera, maybe that would be good. You know, just poke it down and break it up just a little bit. But there we go. All right, all right. Wessex campaign, dark flame in my pipe. I want to smoke it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get it going here still getting still getting used to the, the glasses or not. another time Oh. See what that kindling did? Nice burn. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Still a little bit wet. Might have to play with the drying time a little bit. But I tell you what. Oh my, that is absolutely delicious. <laughs> oh. I'm about to slow myself down. I'm about to slow myself down. Um, this is um, quite good. A medium body, rich, sweet, earthy tastes like it's uh, got a great balance between some bright Virginia's and maybe a little bit of red Virginia tanginess in there it's got a fry bread kind of pastry something or another vanilla even
One of the smoothest flakes I ever smoked, especially just getting started, was McMarran Navy Flake. Um, that was one of the best flakes that I had when I first started smoking the pipe. The second best flake was the Rainier's Golden Long in that big golden can. I remember a smoky pipeliner gave me a good good piece of that when we were at St. Louis one year. Absolutely delicious. This I don't know, man. I don't know. I was told it was the best Virginia you'd ever smoke. That's why I did this review today. This is an enjoyable, enjoyable smoke. I don't know if it's hard to find, but um, I gotta get some more. So, um, <laughs> I like it. It's delicious. It's absolutely just an amazing tobacco. That was right off the first light, too. Burning well. No relights yet. There's some crazy flavors coming off this. Almost like some marzipan and citrus and Man, peg leg. I appreciate you, bro. This stuff right here. What they say this stuff right here. She It's quite possibly one of the smoothest. No tongue bite, no burn issues. Retro hell is amazing. I could inhale this. Just, I mean, no playing around. I am inhaling it. It's so smooth. That is a great, a great Virginia pipe tobacco. Let me smoke it down a little bit. I'll give you my final, see what it does as she goes on down, and go from there. Is this the best Virginia pipe tobacco of all time? Do you have a better one? Hit me up in the comments. And if you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe. Stick around for a little while. Hang out with your boy. I'll come back with my final thoughts. Peace. Welcome back, y'all. Well, to wrap it up. I'm more than three quarters down on this bowl. Absolutely beautiful, sweet. I'm getting all kind of weird notes out of this for the first time. I'm telling you what, this is one of the best Virginia tobaccos I've ever smoked in my life, bar none. And that's all I got to say about it. I like it. So, YTPC, I'm out. Hunt you down some. Peace.